Welcome to the HuddleCam HD SimpleTrack 2 Software Setup Guide video. This video assumes that you have watched the SimpleTrack 2 setup video and you've already connected your camera to your local area network. The SimpleTrack 2 is the second generation of HuddleCam HD's auto tracking camera line designed to automate PTZ camera operations by following subjects at the front of a room or on a stage. The free auto tracking camera management software is available for download at huddlecamhd.com resources and allows for remote camera operation of the Huddlecam HD SimpleTrack 2 features that include multi-camera viewing, PTZ camera controls, and auto tracking configuration. When you first open the software, you will be in the device management tab of the interface. There are three tabs inside this software, which include device management, which is an area for managing one or more SimpleTrack 2s, a main view area, which is for controlling the SimpleTrack 2 and configuring the tracking system, and a remote playback area, where you can view and download videos or photos stored on the micro SD card, which is not included that can be used with this camera. In the device management area, you can see all of the SimpleTrack 2 auto tracking cameras available on your network. You can click the search button at the bottom section of the software to search for new or additional cameras. Note, the camera utilizes DHCP by default. If your PC is also utilizing DHCP, this search should find your camera. You can also manually add devices to this camera management tool by clicking the Add Device button at the top. This button will allow you to manually add a camera when you already know the IP address and port assigned to the camera. Note, the default app port is 5000. The default username and passwords are admin. Once you have added your camera to the management software, you can use the main view tab at the top of the software to begin customizing the auto tracking parameters for your space. In the main view tab, you will see four open camera areas, along with some camera operation tools in the bottom left. In the camera grid, you can select an empty cell and right click the camera to select a video feed for that cell. You can choose between teacher close up, which is the main RTSP feed, Teacher Panorama, which is the sub RTSP feed from the reference camera, the Teacher Close Up RTSP feed number three, or the Teacher Panorama, which is an RTSP number four. Once you have a camera selected, you can control the pan, tilt, zoom, focus, iris, OSD, and presets of the camera using the tools available in the bottom left. Once you are ready to set up your camera for auto tracking, you should start by setting up two important camera presets. Preset zero is used to frame your stage and preset one is used to frame your subject. When setting preset zero for your stage, adjust your zoom level to show the entire area in which your subject is expected to move around within. Once framed as best as possible, set preset zero to tell the software this is your stage. Click the set button to store this stage preset as preset zero. Next, zoom in your camera to frame your subject. This is the most the camera will zoom in and it's important to consider the background elements that you want to keep in frame while recording the video. For example, if you want the camera to track your subject but also keep a whiteboard in frame, make sure you zoom in just enough to show the top of the whiteboard and the subject together. Next, enter preset one in the preset box and click set. Now you have set the stage preset and the subject preset. Next, you can set overall tracking and blocking zones. Camera managers can quickly set up tracking zones where they want a subject to be tracked and blocking zones for each area, such as a projector screen or a window with movement that could interrupt the automatic movement. Click the settings button to open the tracking options for the camera. Note, the tracking zone encompasses anywhere the talent is intended to move around 
while removing any possible distractions, such as an audience. The blocking zones are set anywhere that could be tracked but shouldn't be, such as individuals walking by a doorway or faces reflected on a table. Click the Track Area button and drag the green rectangle over the area in your space you would like the camera to track a subject. Click the Blocking Zone checkboxes to drag red rectangles over the spaces you do not want the camera to view as trackable motion within the set tracking area. Using blocking zones outside of the defined tracking area can cause irregular behavior. Note, blocking zones should only be placed within the defined tracking area. Usage outside of the tracking area can result in unreliable performance of the tracking system. Next, click the Save button to save your configuration. You can then click Basic 2, the tab next to Basic 1, to open up some fine-tuning tracking options. In Basic 2, you can adjust the fine-tune parameters to aid the camera in automatically tracking your talent. The first four options allow you to enable or disable features such as tilt motion, auto zoom, permanent track, and outside platform. Most setups do not require tilt motion, and disabling this feature will allow the camera to pan left and right without adding additional tilt movement. Other setups may desire a static zoom level. If you disable automatic zooming, it will set the optical zoom of the camera at a specific level. Permanent track is when the camera will attempt to track any moving object. Outside platform is when the camera will attempt to track people even when outside of the tracking zone. You can adjust parameters to match your camera's tracking sensitivity, how the camera responds to movement, to match you, how your talent moves around the stage. You can also adjust the pan, tilt, and zoom speeds, which customize the look and feel of your production by slowing down or speeding up the camera's automated movements. The zoom limit option allows you to adjust how far the camera will zoom in. If you have auto zoom enabled, the system will attempt to maintain the example framing from preset one on the talent as they move. The lost timeout adjustment will allow you to define the amount of time the camera will wait if it loses a subject before the camera moves to a predefined action, which you can set in the drop-down menu below. You can choose a preset number for the camera to call if it loses the talent. You can also set a preset for the camera to return to when the camera powers on. Click Save and save the adjusted settings. When you're finished adjusting the tracking parameters, click Exit to return to the main view. Next, let's take a look at the remote playback section of this software. Note, to utilize remote playback, you will need to install a micro SD card into the micro SD card slot on the back of the camera. You can start by clicking on an available camera in the device list. Note, to enable recording onto an SD card, go to Device Management, click on the camera, and select Remote Configuration. In the Record tab, click Enable Video and press OK. A green status light will appear. In the Remote Playback tab, Video Area, you will see the feed of a video recording you have selected. You can choose to watch the video in normal, slow, or fast speeds. You can access video recordings from a drop-down menu, which is organized by time and date. Once you have a video selected, you can decide to play or pause the video. You can take a snapshot from the video or download the video at any time. Finally, let's take a look at the advanced features available to you. From the main device management page, you can click on a camera and select remote configuration. This area will open up options to configure the camera's networking settings, streaming settings, RTMP options, protocol options, firmware upgrades, administration options, and recording settings. In the streaming tab, you have access to the main RTSP streaming settings. The Simple Track 2 supports up to four unique streams, and you can adjust the resolution, bitrate, and frame rate for each. In the Recording tab, you can assign a dynamic or static IP address for the camera, in addition to the settings for the port numbers for RTSP and camera control. 
In the RTMP area, you can set up the camera to stream up to four RTMP destinations. Simply enter the RTMP destination you would like the camera to stream to and click Save. In the protocol area, you can set the control parameters for your camera. The Upgrade tab allows you to view the camera's current firmware option and choose to upgrade the firmware. The Username and Password area allows you to update the information for the camera's security, change the camera's name, which will show up in the software, adjust the camera's time, which is used for recordings, and the time zone information. Finally, you can enable recording in the Record tab. This area gives you the status of the SD card required for recording, along with the card capacity and remaining memory. The new HuddleCam HD SimpleTrack 2 Auto Tracking Camera software is completely customizable for each lecture space. The software is designed to optimize the auto tracking camera's performance using a wide angle reference camera and a 20x optical zoom video camera. The 20x optical zoom PTZ camera head is driven by the auto tracking software so that the camera can follow presenters at the front of a room 24 7, 365 days a year without the need for a camera operator. Every room is generally a little different, but with a one time setup, this latest SimpleTrack 2 software, any room can accommodate a high quality auto tracking camera experience that can connect to any HD SDI, HDMI, USB 3.0, or IP recording or streaming solution. If you have any questions about setting up your HuddleCam HD SimpleTrack 2, you can reach out to the support team at support at huddlecamhd.com or submit a ticket at help dot huddlecamhd dot com.